I mean, dance has been my my voice for so long. I mean, you hear me in interviews sometimes. I mean, I'm my worst critic, but sometimes I, I feel like I don't express myself in my language and my vocabulary as well as I do with my body. And so dance has always been my superpower in the sense that it was my language. My body was my language for me to express emotions or experiences that I didn't know how to verbally mm. communicate. And so... Yes, I can say the answer is yes. It it gave me so much transformation and healing in the moment that I didn't even know that I had experienced. And when I moved to London when I was 10, there was a lot of a lot of crazy things that were going on in my world. I left home, I wasn't with my family. I had a very rigorous schedule of like basically waking up at 6 a.m. and finishing at 11 p.m. every night and hard, hard work and determination. And if I was sick, it didn't matter. I had to keep going. And so built up a lot of great, you know, work ethic. But at the same time, I couldn't complain. I couldn't express how I felt. It was really difficult. And so I realize now as an adult, if I didn't have my dancing, my anxiety and my depression would have gone through the roof wow. because I didn't know how to speak. I actually wasn't really given an opportunity to also have a voice. And so my dancing actually shifted and moved the energy within my body for me to feel like I actually could transform that energy that would have therefore been stuck. Mm. And so I'm so grateful for my dancing and yeah, that's why I really believe in the body. We talked about this yeah, earlier. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. You know, your mind is so, so important about how you perceive and your awareness and everything, but your body, if you're not connecting the two, it's like cognitively I can understand things, but how am I really going to transform the experience and the story and the, the expression of it? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And I think everyone, whether it's through dance or some sort of practice, is looking for their voice. Yeah. Because I feel like that's when we feel so blocked is when we don't have that outlet yeah. of expression, whatever that may be, whether it's singing, dancing, meditation, uh, journaling, writing, writing yeah, whatever, whatever it may is. be. Yeah. So like we're all looking for that. And it's almost like because cr we're not creatively encouraged when we're young, if it's not something that's pushed mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. encouraged, yeah. you, you lose the outlet. And yeah. I think a lot of people feel that way. Well, I think about it all the time that babies, I mean, they dance in their high chair when music comes on before they learn yeah. how to crawl or walk or talk so or any of it. And then it's like, when did you decide that you weren't a dancer or yeah. that you weren't a good dancer? And like when these, oh, I don't dance or I'm not a good dancer. Well, when did you decide that you weren't? Because when you were a kid, you, you know, a baby, you weren't worried if like your parents thought you were doing it good or not. You know, yeah, <laughs> like, exactly. you were just free in your body. And then exactly. somewhere along the line, either someone said that you weren't good enough or something happened and you took on this role or this identity that that's not who you are. Yeah. When in fact, like we are our bodies are designed to move. 